everybody welcome back it's Brandon with Campbell Fitness and hopefully the video on this one is a little bit better as well as the audio is I'm trying to use one of my other cameras we'll see how it works you're gonna be a little bit closer which means you can get a little bit better look at this mustache and that's the first thing I wanted to talk about today only because I put up that Wendler 531 video yesterday as well as when I put up the update the other day I got a couple positive comments, I got a couple negative comments about the mustache. A lot of people are saying, you know, that mustache looks awful, you look like a rapist, a pedophile, all sorts of great names. Um, but I think a lot of you guys missed the key point, and I put up that Movember trailer the other day. So for those of you that don't know, today officially starts what's known as Movember. It's something I participated in last year as well as numerous years before that. And what it is, is you grow a mustache during the month of November and you keep it there all month. Now the reason you do this is to raise awareness for men's prostate cancer and you're then also supposed to raise money for charity. So the reason I have a mustache is because I want people to notice it. I want people to ask why I have one, make comments about it so that way I can then tell you about Movember. That's the whole point. If you remember every you know couple of months or something, you'll see something similar on Facebook from women who like, for instance, one of the things they were supposed to do is update their Facebook status about where they like to keep their purse or something like that. So some people would say, you know, I like it on my bed or I like it on my dresser, which got guys thinking, now they were talking about sex like this is where they want to do it and they're thinking hell yeah so then the guys would comment on the status and then later on the girls would tell them you know this is actually what it's about it's about breast cancer awareness so the reason for the mustache is to raise awareness and make you guys notice it so com com completely understand that I know that it looks terrible my girlfriend reminds me on a consistent basis of how bad it looks but that's the point you know it's supposed to look bad it's supposed to look silly so you guys notice it and ask questions about about it so I don't grow this because I think it looks good because I obviously know that it doesn't it's pretty gross and it's gonna get a lot more gross the next couple of weeks but that's what it's for so if you feel the need to tell me I still look like a creep I look awful I look like an idiot or I can say it's a me Mario that's fine too I mean I'll take it but it's doing its purpose so I just want you to know why it's there so that's first the next thing I want to talk about is the last couple of days. I've been putting out a lot of re-uploads on my channel. For most of you that know, it's because I live in Rhode Island. And you know, I did an update the other day uh, through the webcam about this. But anyone who lives on the East Coast and anyone regardless should know that we've been hammered lately by Hurricane Sandy. So I live literally right on the beach. I can look out my window and see the beach from my window. So being close to the water and being a hurricane here, obviously there's going to be flooding. Um, we've lost power. We had, I think we lost power for around 50 hours or so. So not too bad. A little bit over two days. Could have been a lot worse. There's still people in the state without power. Anyone in Connecticut, New York, or New Jersey, you know, they probably even got it worse than I did. Rhode Island wasn't hit too, too bad, but the area that it was hit the worst is literally my neighborhood. Again, living right on the beach. For those of you that are familiar with Rhode Island, I live right in Narragansett right down the street from Narragansett Beach. Um, for those more familiar with, with Rhode Island, I also work in Newport, Rhode Island. So if you've ever seen the show Family Guy, that's where Lois's family is from, so I work over there. Again, Rhode Island not being a very big state, its name is the Ocean State, so obviously we got some damage around here, but nothing too, too bad. So that's why I've been posting re-uploads, only because I haven't really had electricity to film new videos or actually have access to my camera or computer. I was staying at my girlfriend's place for a little while um, and I was it's easier to re-upload stuff because everything's all done I just need an internet connection I can do it from my phone if I need to so that's the reason but I got a new video out yesterday this is gonna be a new video as well obviously I also have some workout clips from my squat day of Wendler um, from Monday right before the storm hit so I'll be putting that up either tonight or tomorrow but there is new content coming. I'm gonna do that Totalis review. For those of you that follow me on Twitter or Instagram, or I think I even put it on Facebook too, I got some new training shoes. I'll do a review on that as well. As well as some other ones that you guys have been asking about. I would like to start doing more cooking videos. I've been really slacking in that department and I apologize. But honestly, those are probably the most difficult ones to film because they take so long to do and to set up and then to edit and put together. So they're kind of a pain in the butt. Um, 
I haven't had a lot of free time lately and those ones take a couple hours, you know. For any of you that follow Lean Body Lifestyle or Michael Corey, um, who is probably opening a new channel, Michael Corey Fitness, if you haven't checked that new channel out, go and do it. He's probably gonna be starting to repost videos there very shortly, he's just getting some stuff settled. Uh, but he can attest to this too, it takes a long time to do those cooking videos. Even though if they're only two or three minutes in length, they do take a lot of time to get done. So I, I do wanna do those, it's just I haven't really had the opportunity to do so. So I apologize about that. Other stuff to talk about, like I mentioned, I'm going back on Wendler, which I'm really excited about. I just had my deadlift day today. The only real bad thing, in my opinion, about going back on the program is that my strength has significantly dropped since going off of it. So it's really disheartening in that aspect. But on the bright side, there's a lot of room for improvement, which I'm really looking forward to. For the assistance work, I'm following his bodybuilding template, and I'm gonna tell you, it's kicking my butt so far. I've only had three days on the program, but I've been more sore than I've been in a long, long time, which is really positive in my opinion. Although soreness isn't really a key indicator for growth and progression, sometimes it's still nice to feel it because you know that you went ahead and kicked your own ass. So that's where we're standing for right now. I got some new videos coming out hopefully this weekend as well. You'll see some re-uploads peppered in there as well. I took a lot of my older videos down on my old channel. I made them private only because what I want to do is again eventually port them over and right now I'm basically competing with myself for exposure. So I disabled all comments on my old channel, not because I don't want you guys to comment, but just because it's it's really hard to take care of two channels at once and respond to everybody. Um, but I would eventually like all those videos on this channel that you're watching right now and I hope to completely close that one down uh, by the end of the year so right now I think there's only really 100 videos available out of probably 350 total that I've done for that channel and by the end of the year it'll be zero completely uh, but that's about it. That's the update. I really appreciate everyone checking in with me, asking if I'm doing okay. A lot of people have been texting me, sending me a message on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, uh, which I've been trying to put up pictures on some of the stuff that's been going on here recently. But I really do appreciate that. You know, you guys reaching out and asking if I'm okay. I, I'm fine. Uh, a little rain and storm and no power isn't going to hold me down because in the long run, I'm staying big. And I hope you guys do too. Talk to you soon.